Hey Hugo, I think we're going to need a bigger boat. Hey guys, happy homebrew Wednesday, happy homebrew Friday, Thirsty Thursday, whatever it is for you in your neck of the woods, whenever I get this video up, it's going to be whatever. So, uh, one thing we're going to do is uh, homebrew review. Alright, what I have here, I don't know if you can see it in the light, it's a copperish, amberish color. Nice creamy white head, about a two finger head. The head was uh, whoosh, half the bottle. I had to wait for it to die down and then pour the rest in. Uh, it's been sitting on the shelf for, oh geez, let me look at the notes. This is what I call my Eladio's Wheat Beer. And basically, this has been on the shelf. There's two different brews. I got two bottles left, one from each brew. And that, I liked it so much that I brewed it again. Uh, one was done on 320, and another one was done on 4 th 4 3 2016. All right, so earlier this year. And both had a base kit of the Cooper's Wheat beer kit, uh, and then I added 3.3 pounds of Bav Bavarian Wheat LME. Another pound of amber DME, a pound of white wheat, and in one particular brew had the half a pound of Belgian Munich. Both of them had five ounces of carapils. Both had uh, an ounce of tetanine for hops. And they're both brewed with Safe Brew WB06 yeast. Okay, one came out at it. 1067 OG, then a 1013 FG, 7.2% ABV, and the other was at 6.3% ABV. So the only difference between this beer and the other bottle, I'm going to do a review on that one as well, uh, uh, was the uh, Belgian Munich. One of them, ha I, I, I used it because I had some left over, and the other did not. I either used, just did the white wheat with carapils. I don't think I had any other grain in it other than that. Okay. Um, and yeah, let's give it a whirl. Interesting notes. We have some like uh, nutmeggy type smells, some tangerine citrus notes. Sweet, very like a sweet smell. Cheers. Ah, I needed that. Very thirst quenching. Not too bitter at all. Obviously, it just has the base hops, whatever it Cooper Coopers use for their base hops in their wheat beer. And the tetanine that I threw in probably for either a 10 minute boil at the end. I just boiled it with some of the, uh, probably the Amber DME and the uh, LME, the Bavarian LME, and threw it in for 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. Excellent. I love this beer. It's one of my favorites that I've ever done. So much of a favorite of mine that I named it after my grandfather. Hence, Eladio. Eladio's wheat beer. So nice color. I don't know if you guys can really see that. This lighting's not too good, and I don't. Hugo, you got a flashlight? I don't have a flashlight. Oh, you know what? Hold that thought. See if I get my cell phone here. Bear with me. And, yeah, there you go. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hazy. I don't know how the heck this is going to look on the camera, obviously. But, 
as you can see, and you can see from that way, obviously not too clear. It is a wheat beer, obviously, so it's going to be hazy. It has that nice, from my angle here, it has like an orangey, copperish, gold tone. Very beautiful beer. Nice thirst quencher. Has that cit like a citrusy, apricot, tangerine-ish type smell and taste. Yeah, very strong on that. I don't know if that's the tetanang. I've, it's hard for me to remember from when I did this. I should have did a review when I first did this beer. I would, it would when it was young, but even just being in the bottle for all these months, it still has the same flavor as it did then. Tastes great. So, uh, hope you guys are well. Been watching everybody else's videos. Everything, you know, guys are only up and up. See, Paulie, you got a lot of them bruised down. Watched your videos this afternoon. So, cheers to you, my friend. Everybody else. Um, as you know, in our neck of the woods, it's Christmas. So, we're getting ready for that. I showed some footage of our lights that we got, our tree. Uh, my little ornament there. Oh, excuse me. Very carbonated. I don't know if that's true for the style or not, but I don't care. <laughs> yeah, it's homebrew. And as long as I like it, it doesn't matter. But not too much else on the brew front. All I did was the, uh, the apple cider. Um... Looking going into the new year, hopefully I get some brews down. I'm going to revisit this, definitely. That's going to be a rotation. As I said, it's one of my favorites. And uh, a couple ideas for some new brews. I want to tackle some of that. Try and hopefully come clone a beer. I want to clone a beer real bad. I want to see, I mean, obviously I don't have anything to compare it to. So it's just going to be a hope, a wing, and a prayer and see where we come out. As long as it's drinkable. That's right for the captain. So, uh, hope you have a good cheers. Have a merry, merry Christmas. And uh, I don't think I have any more else to say besides just this beer review. And uh, keep your mugs full. And Hugo, you want to say it? I'll do it for him. Let's set sail. Cheers.